Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Uh, we're going to do a little video today, it's going to be an experimental video and where we're going to take the birch oil that we made up up north and if you haven't seen that video, uh, go to our site, Joe and Zach Survival, scroll down to the birch oil video to see how to make this yourself and we're going to see how it burns in a lamp when we try to mix it with uh, regular lamp oil. So we'll go through the whole thing, I have no idea how this will work but I'm excited to see what happens. So for this experiment, what I have here is I have some regular tiki oil. It's not the bug spray kind, nothing like that, just regular lamp oil. And then I've got the birch oil. And the first thing that we're going to take and do, uh, I'm just going to take and run one tablespoon of this and this together and mix it up. You can see if it's compatible, if it'll even mix. You know, like if you were to put water in with gasoline or oil, it would be completely separated, it wouldn't go together. They're both oils, but we have no idea what's in this oil. So let me get those mixed up and let's see what happens. Okay, we have one of the tiki oil. Probably get my ass chewed for using kitchen stuff to do this, but oh well. All right, I'm going to let this sit for just a minute here, and then we'll come back and see what we got. All right, well, it's hard to say because it's so dark, but it looks to be like it's not separating. If you look down inside of there, there's no bubbles or, you know, of like water-like stuff like you would see in gas or oil. So I'm just going to go with it, uh, you know, and see what happens. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put in about, that's about an inch and a half of it. Tiki. And about an inch and a half of the birch. <laughs> that birch is a lot thicker. But it's still not too thick, so. Okay, and then for the lamp, what I've got here is just a irregular old cheapy lamp. And I took out the wick here. Lucky this is a good time of year. I haven't went up hunting yet, haven't used this at all. I usually run one of these for a nightlight between the tent and the, where, the, where the outhouse is when we go duck hunting. So this is completely dry. So when I put it in, uh, I'll fill this up and stuff and put it in. We'll be getting just pure, you know, the stuff that we mixed here. There won't be anything residual from last year. Clean that glass up real good so we'll be able to see what the flame does. And now we'll pour this in there. And make a mess while doing it. Okay, now I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes to let that fluid wick up that wick, and then we'll light it up and see what happens. Well, while we're waiting for this to, to wick up and that, um, there may be people out there that aren't really into the whole prepping thing and don't really understand it, and why would I want to mix birch oil with the regular lamp oil? If the shit did hit the fan and say you had five gallons of your lamp oil that you have saved, and uh, that's all great. Well, first thing you can do is, is start using that lamp oil all up right away. And you have a year's supply of it, maybe. Who knows? But if a lot of it hit the fan and it goes past a year, if a person right away would have started mixing it with the birch oil, you're going to get two years out of it or whatever. You know what I mean. So, But anyway, the main thing, we know this is going to burn. But what we don't know is how much we're going to get for the creosote that comes out of this. So is this going to be a lamp that can be used inside, or does it have to be used outside? And, and this experiment will kind of tell us what we got. And we're at about 50-50. So we'll know if we could do 25-75, or, you know, eventually I'd like to try one of these with all just birch oil in there and see if that works. 
Well, enough time has passed here. It's time to see how this works. Now, everybody that runs one of these lamps, you know there's like a sweet spot. You can have real low light. You get up to a certain amount of light where it's as bright as it's going to go. And as you go higher, then you start to really get a lot of smoke. So we're going to see if we can find any sort of a sweet spot with this lamp. It lit real good. So that that's a comfortable light there. Gosh, it seems to work really good. I'm not seeing a whole lot of smoke coming out of it either. I think what I'm going to do is let that run about 10 minutes. And let's see how it looks after 10 minutes. And I just cleaned this glass on this too, so we can see if that gets kind of fogged up or whatever. We'll let this warm up a little bit, and huh, that is really neat. All right, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. We're about five minutes in. Still seems to be burning real well. And I'm just going to show you, um, this up here that you see is just a reflection off the glass. So that's the actual flame down there. But if I pull this above, if I put something white behind it, you can see that's like the optimal light that you'd get out of it and there's nothing coming out. If I go down here and turn it up like any other lamp, you'll see the smoke coming out like that. So it works like a regular lamp that way. Well, we're sitting at about 15 minutes right now, and you can see what's happening. I have to continually bring the wick up. I can bring it up and get full flame. I just still don't get that smoke that comes out of it, which I'm surprised. But it's showing me that the birch oil is too thick to get up the wick. That wicky, um, or the tiki oil, is um, thinner. I mean, the birch oil is getting up. You can smell it in here. It just smells exactly like that stuff, like a, like a campfire. But... It's it's too so it's just too thick. So what we're gonna have to do, you'd have two choices. If you would have been stupid enough to mix a gallon of birch oil with a gallon of your lamp oil, you have a lamp that will run about 15, 20 minutes, and you're gonna have to shut it down. You know, I imagine if I shut this down, drop the wick down, let it wick back up again, it'll work, and then it'll drop down to this. But that's not what we want. We want a lamp that'll work all the time. So we'll have to do another another video and do it at like 25 percent but anyway i mean it does work it does burn but eventually nope it just cannot keep up <laughs> this is a fun video to do okay well that's our experiment number one on birch oil as a lamp oil 50 50 percent we're going to say no not really <laughs> so uh thanks a lot for watching the joe and zach survival channel Stay tuned for the next one where we'll do it uh, 75 lamp oil, 25 birch oil.